Number five is going to require you to uh, draw the vectors. Uh, they give you this picture right here where the, the vectors are already pre-drawn out for you and it tells you how long they are, how many boxes they take up and, and which direction they're going in. You want to use these in order to draw u minus 2w plus v. Now it doesn't matter which order you start this from. It doesn't matter where in the grid that you do it as long as your answer ends up fitting uh, inside here. If you have to extend the boxes out on the other side uh, that's okay but uh, I'll make it to where you should be able to fit your entire answer within uh, the given box that's there. So uh, we can start uh, any kind of order uh, with this. Uh, it's, we can do a sketch here off of this so I know kind of which direction we're going in but if I start out with you uh, going that way uh, the the W, we have negative 2, so we have to go, that's going to go up this direction. So if we do this with a, a U, then we're going to go that way, and this will be a negative 2 W. Uh, and then from there, we have plus V, which means the V is actually going to go down like that. So if we decide to do it in order the way it is, this is kind of what it looks like when we draw that. So because of this, the U, we should probably start somewhere uh, near the bottom if we can. So if I start somewhere around here, maybe at the very bottom, I'll start it right here. And the V, uh, if we're starting out, or the U rather, we start with, the U goes four places to the right and up three. So we have to do exactly the same thing here. If this is our starting point, we gotta go four places to the right and up three to here and we're going to draw that in. This is going to be our U. So that's our first one that we did. Next we have to do a negative 2 W. When you do something that's negative the reason why I had it going up this way when I drew that one is because the arrowhead switches when you have a negative. So instead of having it go down like that we just switch the arrowhead. Now you don't switch it like this or move it around. You're not going to change the angle that it's going. You don't move that. All you're changing is the the arrowhead. And so in this case, I'm still going to have it go basically two boxes to the left and up three. I'm just going to do that twice. Over, over to the left, up three. To the left, up three will take us up to here. And I'm drawing the arrow, putting the arrowhead here on the end. So it goes at exactly the same angle, all we're doing is switching the arrowhead. So this would be negative 2w. Next, we're going to put attached to that. Remember that when you do, when you add vectors together, you have to add them uh, tip to tail. That's why I knew that since the arrowhead switched here, the tail could go on, to, uh, on the, the tip of this one. So you're always adding tip to tail. Next thing we want to do is put the V on there. And so the V we can just put that one, move it over directly to here because uh, that would be tip to tail as well. So for this we're going to go uh, from here, it basically goes down four and one to the right, so we're going to go down four, one to the right just like this and we'll draw that right there and that's the V. So this is first of all how you would draw the, the three right there. Now you're, now you're not done when you do this. The final thing you want to do is draw an arrow from the starting point to the ending point. Now I'm going to do this here in purple and so this right here would be uh, your answer. So you might want to darken that in, use a different color, label it, make sure you tell me what the answer is and so you can just show something like that, you can kind of draw a line over to it so that kind of labels it. That way I will know what your correct answer is. So whenever you add vectors you're always adding them tip to tail and you can kind of start anywhere down there and then uh, go from there. But this would be your final answer. Now keep in mind that there definitely are more than one way of doing this. You could start anywhere. You don't have to start with U. You could start with V or the, the negative 2W. It doesn't make a difference. The main thing that I'm looking for for the answer is your final answer should be an arrow that goes up and to the right. In fact, specifically, I'm looking for an arrow that goes one to the right and up five. So I'm going to be counting the boxes 
to make sure that's done accurately. The most common mistake I see making is students will just quickly sketch something and not be careful with counting the boxes. You have to be precise when you count these boxes out. It has to be exactly the same as the original one. So if the original one for you, for instance, has four to the right and up three, you have to count the boxes on your answer and make sure it's precise because if you don't, that means this is going to be the wrong length. So the final answer I'm looking for not only in the right direction, but it has to go over the correct number of boxes. So one to the right and up five, no matter where it ends up on your grid, and you could do it in a different order, but no matter what, if you did it correctly, you should always end up with the same answer, and that's what I'm looking for.